Hey everyone, it's Sarah Gallagher here and welcome back to my channel. Bye. Today I'm sharing a story about an online date I went on with someone I didn't expect to hit it off with Morton Well, also known as Ming Ming the Artist. Morton is a talented artist who creates amazing furry fan art. And let me tell you, his passion and creativity are infectious. But what really drew me to him was his sense of humor. He's got this hilarious personality that's reminiscent of Carl Johnson from Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. We spent hours talking about everything from art to our shared love of Tekken, and I found myself laughing and feeling more and more comfortable around him. And the more we talked, the more I realized that I was developing a crush on him. I know, I know, it sounds crazy. I am in a relationship with Curtis, and I care about him deeply. But there's something about Morton that I just can't ignore, and I didn't tell Curtis about my online date with Morton until now. I know I should have been honest with him from the start, but I was afraid of how he would react. Oh. So, as I was saying, I didn't tell Curtis about my online date with Morton until now. And the reason for that is because I have a history with Morton that I hadn't shared with Curtis before. The truth is, Morton and I had actually dated before, a long time ago. We met through a mutual friend and hit it off immediately. He was charming, funny, and talented, and I was drawn to him right away. But at the time, Morton was struggling with a heavy drinking problem. It was something that he had been dealing with for a while, and it was starting to take a toll on our relationship. I tried to be supportive, but it was hard to watch him struggle with something that he couldn't seem to overcome. Eventually, we decided to go our separate ways. It was a difficult decision, but I knew it was for the best. I couldn't watch him destroy himself anymore, and I needed to prioritize my own well-being. Fast forward to now, and I'm in a relationship with Curtis. He's amazing, and I love him dearly. But when Morton and I started talking again, I realized that my feelings for him never really went away. And that's where things get complicated. Because even though I care about Curtis deeply, I can't help but feel drawn to Morton again. And I don't know what to do about it. So, as I was saying, I have feelings for both Morton and Curtis, but in different ways. And after a lot of reflection, I realized that my heart belongs to Curtis. Curtis is an amazing person, and he's been through a lot. He was in a toxic relationship with this woman, Becky Loot, who was using him for his money and personal gain. She was a big gossip and bad news, and I'm so glad that he's out of that situation. I'm proud to say that I was the one who helped him escape that toxic relationship. I was there for him when he needed someone to talk to, and I supported him through the whole ordeal. And let me tell you, it wasn't easy. Becky was not happy about losing her meal ticket, and she tried to cause drama and chaos wherever she went. But Curtis and I stood strong, and we came out on top. So even though I have a history with Morton, and even though I still care about him deeply, my heart belongs to Curtis. He's the one who I want to be with, and I'm grateful to have him in my life. If Thanks for watching, guys. This was a tough video to make, but I'm glad that I could share my story with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content.